everyone so because we've been having trouble with live streams we thought we would do a one take vlog so no editing hopefully nothing weird happens uh, except that maybe yikes so we're in the if it wasn't obvious the pandora <laughs> Uh, store which is at the exit of like a passage and I thought I would just show you the banshees that you can buy so this is I guess what would you call this the banshee the rookery. rookery and so this cast member is just demonstrating how they work and you have like a little hand control and it makes the mouth open and stuff and the wings flap around and there's all kinds of different coloured banshees you can get. <laughs> Thank you for that. It's totally out of focus. <laughs> Can't decide which dinosaur they remind me of most. Yeah, they do look Obviously a bit... the pterodactyls, but... Oh, yeah, something yeah. Else. There's something else. Also, like a, like a raptor or something. Like a Komodo dragon. I know that yes. isn't a dinosaur, yeah, yeah. but it's kind of... So yeah, that is the banshees you can buy. I think they're quite expensive. I can't remember. I think somebody mentioned in they're quite a lot. They are not cheap, but you can get some. As Ian was just demonstrating, a plush banshee instead. I didn't demonstrate anything. He just in, um, he popped out and said hello. I'm sure. And then there's a blue one. Oh, great! And I think a green one over there. So they're kind of cool. And this store has like loads of stuff. There's t-shirts and things you can get, um, Avatar and Pandora, magic bands. It's really well themed in here as well. As you can see all the ceiling is really cool. But we're going to go out and see if we can get a Night Blossom which mm. is such a good drink that you can get here. So let's head out and see if we can get one of those. So Becky's found something. Oh Becky's found something weird. <laughs> let's go and look at that. Oh, it's hard to get out of here. Real run across while we can. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. Oh it's one of these little creepy things that bounces that's up and so down. Weird. It is weird. Ooh, no, it is it's a, this bit that's really weird. It is a plant. Yeah. Yeah there's all kinds of um these little plants in um beakers and things oh that you can buy. Gem geodes and, rocks and stuff. Yeah so there's some pretty different stuff in here. Let's go see if we can get this drink because I am very thirsty. It is very, very hot here today. Just as we came in, it kind of um, went a little, little bit cooler, but not an awful lot. And it's still nice and bright. Oh, the, oh I need my eyes. Sorry, I'm just get my sunglasses on. Let's just check out this guy while we're here. See if we can go around the other side so you guys can see. That's pretty cool. All right. As you can see, Pandora is crowded as always. It pretty much is always like this here. Most crowded part of the park. And this is the Tuli Canteen. But we are going over here to Pongu Pongu. And I might just see if I can leave you with Ian a second while I go and get this drink. Maybe he can. Mm -hmm. False, correct. Pandora is a moon. The nearest planet is Polyphemus, which is a, a gas giant, very similar to Saturn, uh, but without the rings. Uh, all right. Uh, how about you, young lady? Uh, yes. Most of the animals here on Pandora have six legs. Brown, oh, did you go up? What? It's true. It's true. You got to back when I already seen the answer. Uh, yeah, if you go on the uh, Navi, have you ever done the Navi? Yeah? Yeah, so you 
this up. The dire horse. But Thanator, actually, if you take a look at, uh, at the suit here, on his arm and on the leg there, there's some Thanator damage. Um, for those of you who don't know who Than what a Thanator is, imagine from that tree here to about yay, to there about as tall as me. It's sort of like a, an enormous lion or tiger or something like that. They're no joke. And uh, luckily it wasn't me who was in the suit at the time, but uh, I hope I never am. Oh, drink has purposes. arrived. There it is. Closed so good. You get this if you couldn't hear. It's amazing. It's got cushion free, boba balls, desert pear, and wow. It's sort of the grandfather of this unit, so, so this would be like the, mm. you know, the latest model taking around for so the uh, <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <ask me. laughs> Someone clearly wants some. Under my feet, there's also pressure plates oh. under my bottom. So tangy, so yeah. It's like really fruity. Takes me one way, I lean. Takes me other way. So it's kind of like you know a segue. It is uh, amazing. I'm just going to take a picture like of it. That. So I'm going to hand you back to Ian. Any questions? Anybody have any other questions about this? Get the things right. Um, I'm going to be going over here. So. Okay. <laughs> you know, we keep showing you the same time. <laughs> uh, we didn't want to do any more damage to the environment than we've already done. So we just reused a lot of the existing structures uh, and tried not to, to add anything else. We also helped to uh, incorporate, there's a knobby uh, drum circle over there. They like to have, uh, you can go over there, the drums are from live at all times. You wanna go and hear what's going on over there. Anybody else uh, wondering about anything else about the suit? The uh, suit magnifies my strength about 15%, uh, which doesn't help a whole lot considering how enormous these animals are. Um, oh, look at me, oh, is back. Yeah. There's a lot of plants around. Yeah. Let's show you guys a bit more of Pandora. So obviously these are the floating mountains and all of this uh, bit over here is the flight of passage ride uh, back there, which we just went on and it is incredible. It seems better every time I do it. So, so good. The line is always horrible. It's like always over a hundred minutes. So try and get a fast pass if you can because it's a long wait, but totally worth it. And this over here is the moss wall where everyone likes to take Instagram photos at the moment. Disney walls are the in thing for photos. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Disney in detail and I'm updating pretty much every day on there and on my Facebook page, which is also Disney in detail. So go and see those for daily updates or several times daily. <laughs> and this bit here is just kind of some really good theming. You can see the whole area is absolutely amazing. It's so, so well themed. And over at this end, sorry, I'm just pointing with a beverage, uh, <laughs> is where Navi River Journey is. That is also incredible. A lot less intense than Flight of Passage, but yeah. very, very nice ride. And the temperature has gone way down. So we're happy because earlier on we were melting. I mean, I think it was like 33, which if you're, Brit if you're British, that's very hot. For us, so. it's really hot. And it's very humid, I think is the problem. So that's kind of very, very warm, but it's fine. It, it tends to be between like one and five is is super hot. Yeah. So you can maybe do the parks in the morning, go and go to the pool or do something else, then come back in the evening. That would definitely be a good idea to avoid the hottest part of the day. If you're a wuss like us. Yeah. If you're hardcore, just, just go do for it, start but to finish. Yeah. If you're like us and just can't hack it, then that might be a good plan. And this is one of my favourite parts. So you've got the floating mountains up here. And then this amazing waterfall. So this is always popular for photos as well. And there's some kind of drumming. So I think let's go and have a look what that is. It's like a little activity area for kids. Oh, for kids. Uh-huh. Where you can kind of the noise you're making ah. so people are making that oh i see people are doing that that's cool yeah yeah clearly not just for kids because everyone's getting involved in that <laughs> and then just around here there's some more i think it's like a ice cream and beverage cart and another little merchandise stand so the actual area itself is not huge but it doesn't feel small there's like so much kind of theming and everything going on around it yeah and there are some little places to sit and stuff over here. Wow, someone's already going to town on the drums. But yeah, 
there, that is Pandora. Sorry, no editing, so that's all gonna be very strange. Uh, so we just wanted to show that to you guys. Like I say, we've been having trouble with live streams, so I just wanted to do this. It is unedited, so probably not the best ever, but we wanted to make sure we are putting up as much as we can for you to follow along while we're still here. And Becky is going home tomorrow. So, oh, hello, whoa. Wow, something very loud is just happening. Let's um, just back up over here so we can <laughs> finish the vlog. It sounds like there's going to be some kind of story or something going on there. We'll let you know in the next mini vlog what's, what's going on with this. But yeah, Becky is going home tomorrow. She's super sad. But it's been a good week, a quick week, but yeah, very unexpected as well. So that's been cool. Um, but she's already probably planning her next trip. I know what she's like. I'm writing a list of the important things to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she's not going till late tomorrow. So we're going to go to Epcot tomorrow, uh, which is our other favourite part. Do some more world showcase. Walking, more, some more rides. My goodness, my goodness. Now I see what that giant drum is for. So we will see you guys in the next mini vlog. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.